Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everywhere you are in the world, happy to you all. And this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. On behalf of the founder and general overseer, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everywhere you are in the world, happy to you all. And this is a beautiful day the Lord has made. On behalf of the founder and general overseer, wife and team, we are glad you are here with us and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance in Christ Ministry International, a.k.a. Paul L. Baker Ministries. Our mission theme is Jesus Finish Work Movement. And our mission is to preach to all nations about the good news, which is Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. Indoors and outdoors meetings, are our main goals for reaching the unreachable people. Church planting and making leaders is all included in the package. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Our monthly and weekly programs Every first Sunday of every month, we have Holy Communion, and every Sundays, we have online live stream services at 11 o'clock a.m. And Fridays, we have Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance, and Baptism with Holy Communions at 5.30 p.m. Sub Holy Ghost Hours. You can find us, uh, us on podcast anytime. We are open anytime, any hours. And on Sub Holy Ghost Hours, you will find experience and practicals, cost of being a disciple, our offices hours are Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. For now, all our programs are online. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and more. Please, our followers, if you are led to be a support to our mission, you can follow the link online. If you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six and on our email address at holy ghost d two zero zero five at gmail.com please help me welcome paul l baker and please do not forget to share like and subscribe Oh,
happy Sunday and thank you all. Amen and amen and amen. People of God, it's another moment, it's another hour, it's another Holy Sunday as we are here again with the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Wherever you are, we say we love you, we appreciate you, you are special. As this year is a year of singing praise and worship to our maker, our father, our fighter, Yahweh, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we are about to play a song which is done by Good Luck. He is from Tanzania. And he happened to be our own. Stay tuned and God bless you. We do not have a copy right to his song. And uh, he owns the copyright. The song is titled in Swahili. In English, I translate it said, Your battle is not of you, but it's of God. So stay tuned as. We are blessed with his song.
kama tumbo ya mimba yanasemwa sana hivi Mungu angehukumu kwa kusikiza umbea ningekushauri mchungaji wangu ufunge kanisa mwanadamu mwanadamu shida ni ulimi ungejifunza ukimya hauna gasara fulani we fulani una shida gani na uongo wangu mgope Mungu ukumbuke ni adi kuna siku yaja kwa kila neno la kinywa chako utatolea hesabu mimi nimeshakwambia kubali uache utajijua na shingo ya kongumu ay 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 siwezi kushindana au oh, kushindana na mwanadamu mwenye kinywa Kujitetea kabisa japo wali musema kwa ubaya niwasame na wewe uwasame uwaombe kwa maana hawajui wasemayo wakifinyanga ubaya wajibu kwa wema oh usishindane na mtu wajibu kwa wema hata iwe ni ndugu wa karibu wajibu kwa wema si vizuri wewe Nilipe kisasi wajibu kwa wema tena wema uende wajibu kwa wema eh ha ha wajibu kwa wema oh mana mana hawe kushindana ololo oh kushindana na mwanadamu mwenye kinga ukisimama na neno ya tonga Amen and amen and amen. People of God, it's another moment, it's another hour, it's another wonderful moment. Let us pray. Our Father Yahweh, we are here again this morning, this afternoon this evening according to our dear wonderful people's time your name is higher than all other names you have power and dominion over everything here on earth you deserve to be honored you deserve to be worshipped. You deserve to take all the glory. We came here not to see men, but we came here to see you, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We are here to humble ourselves in your presence 
we came guilty free. We came condemnation free because the finished work of your son Jesus has made us righteous, holy, and clean. We commit the entire globe into your hands, leaders, inhabitants, and the kingdom of you. Those that put their trust, their belief, their faith in you, Jesus. Our Father Yahweh, you didn't call us for people that are holy and righteous. You call us for those that sin has engulfed them by the wicked power, Lucifer, Satan. We thank you for what you did in your ancient time. We thank you for what you have done in this present time. And we thank you for what you have already done in the future for mankind. Sweet Holy Spirit, there is nothing that is hidden here on earth. You know everything. You know the plans of Satan, his demon, and his agent. Our responsibility is to speak the words of our Maker, our Father, the one that created everything here on earth to bring stop to the powers of Satan, his demons and his agent. The blood of your son Jesus, your fire Holy Ghost, and let the ministry angels that are assigned to bring ministration to this session, to this ministry, and all other ministry that are projecting your kingdom and depopulating the kingdom of Satan. Your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness is all what we need. Those that are in authority, governmentals, whatever grips of Satan, whatever battles that the kingdom of darkness has engulfed them, let your grace let your blood of Jesus and your fire, Holy Ghost, deliver them now. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, this session is open. On behalf of my sweet, wonderful family, we say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to your time. You are special because we are going all out by the leading of the Holy Spirit to present our body as a living sacrifice that the words, the directions, the revelations that comes from Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. We projected to you the way they came, with no sugar coated, because the Bible said, God warned Ezekiel. He said, if you allow my people to perish, to die in their sins, without you telling them what I told you, their blood, we be on your head. My dear saints, if you are looking for a sugar-coated minister or ministry, we are sorry, not this one. Because sin is a reproach. Sin is a disaster. Sin can bring you sickness. Sin can make you limitation. Sin can make you become a fugitive. Do not be carried away. Those that have prospered through wickedness, 
Satan gift is some of them speak to you today if some of them open what they are going through that when God said Satan gives and adds sorrows to it it is wide open when people comes into power through powers of Satan through wickedness they themselves knows that there is power that is mightier that Satan that give them power my dear those that are in the dark worlds those that are serving Satan they well know that they are in the wrong place so do not carry it away and do not wish to be like them. My dear, sin is a shame and sin abandon you from the presence of God. As I spoke on Friday, that for you to understand who God is, who Yahweh is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is. God to be seen in the ancient way, history ways. Because my Bible tells me when God wants to identify himself to human beings, he recalled the history that you didn't know about. My Bible said, God said, Moses, I know you didn't know me, but your fathers, your ancestors knows me. I have called you because of the friendship, the relationship I have with them. God's ways is different than man's ways. He gave us wisdom and freedom because when he created everything, not that he didn't know the names of what he created, but he wants to see his wisdom. God wants to see his intelligence. God wants to see his perfect his perfection in what he created that he called his image. God didn't create. Angels are not called God's image. Animals are not called God's image. The art is not called God's image. But God created us. That out of us, he can see his mighty, his powerful, his effectiveness as my background as a mechanic or an engineer I know what it takes when you repair or you invented or you created something for population for human beings for you to become happy. Or for instance, somebody brought their broken cars to you. You didn't broke it. And you have repaired it or the generator because he or she wants you to make that generator or that car or that vehicle looks like how it was before. It might not be perfectly bought in operations. When you take your time, when you do everything what you have diagnosed. When you see its operations, when you see his output, his performance, you become happier that your intelligence, 
your wisdom is at play. So God sees us as his image and he wants to see how mighty he is. That is why, because we are so peculiar and special, he gave us angels to serve us. To make sure that our spoken words and Dori, he barahaku sentarama. Angels are being directed by the spoken words of God. Even Satan, before he became corrupted, he moves by the directions of God. And up to this time, he is being moved and he has responsibility to report to the one that created him. But he played counterfeit. He played deceitfulness. He played, he blindfolds you for you to believe in him that he has. Have you seen a clerk or a secretary of a director of a boss or a company acting as if he is the general manager of a company? Yes, they do. They play that. So when you go, before you reach the actual person you reach, somebody will play as if he or she, he is the CEO of that. So so Satan is. Satan came. He disguised himself. He counterfeit himself and present himself to you as a human being that he has the answer to everything. As I promise that any le lectures or teachings or preachings that are given by a professor because he or she wants their student to understand better there is always what we call revisions and revisions are always not going to be exactly how his presentation was or was started. He might add some flavors to it so that you can understand more. So as I started saying on Sunday that power of belief and faith is very important righteous sinner or don't know who they are they all want those three words to manifest in their life so today we are still dealing with the important ones power engulf everything power is the supreme power is the main reason so i'm going to make you as you have already seen the scripture that we're going to see how power could make you become a good person and could make you become a bad person and a corrupt person sweet holy spirit this time is yours use us for your own glory It might be familiar to you. For some of you, maybe this was what the, your pastor teach today. But why can't you give yourself to the Holy Spirit? Because the Word of God should be here and here over and over. To listen to this one of God's foolish channels on planet Earth, common ones, that what Holy Ghost has for you will die into it. Number 42. As today is the last Sunday of the fourth month, before you catch the fifth, which is grace, let us know 
powers again. Our readings is going to be taken for Swahili first and we follow by the English version. Namabla is send a ovia way. Mungo hune ngo uva. A wak bivin ge wawe. Kenga fai pe. Komungo laya nge. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Amen. Isaiah 14 verse 12 to 17 is a long reading. Tazama kitabu cha Isaiah Kumina nene mstari wa kumina mbili Paka kumina saba Na neno unasema hivi Jinsi ulivi wanguka Kutoka mbinguni Ewe nyota ya ufajiri Mwana wa suboi Jinsi ulivi wakatwa kabisa Ewe ulie wangusha mataifa Nawe ulisema moyoni mwako Nitapanda mpaka mbinguni Nitakiinua kiti changu juu kuliko nyota za mungu. Nami nitaketi juu ya mlima wa mkutano katika pande za mwisho za kaskazini. Nitapaa kupita vimo vya mawingu. Nitafanana na yeye alie juu. Lakini atashushwa mpaka kuzimu mpaka pande za mwisho za shimo. Wao wakuonao watakukazia macho watakuangalia sana wakisema je huyu ndiye aliyetetemesha dunia huyu ndiye aliyetikisa faume aliyeufanya ulimwengu ukiwa ukaipindua miji yake asiye wafungua wafungwa wake waende kwao Amen. Thank you, my dear. The English version of Isaiah 14, verse 12 to 17. I read. It's going to be two different version readings. For those of you that are sensitive, you can catch follow from there. They say, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou caught down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Verse 13. For you said to yourself, I will ascend to heaven and set my throne above God's star. I will exalt my throne above the stars. Sorry. Verse 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven and exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Verse 15. Instead, you will be brought down to the place of the dead, down 
to its lowest deep. This other version says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Verse 16. Everyone there will stare at you and ask, Can this be the one who shook the earth and made the kingdoms of the world tremble? Verse 17. Is this the one who destroyed the world and made it into a wasteland? Is this the king who demolished the world's greatest city and had no mercy on his prisoners? The other version says, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the city. Therefore, that opened not the house of his prisoners, the holy words of our Father, the kingdom of his might and his gospel, Jesus. My dear saints, power of beliefs and faith. Power is something that is inherited when God breathed in us. You will say, where you got your power from. I want you to say, I came with it. It doesn't matter what type of power you were born with into this world. But for us that are wiser and believe and acknowledge that everything here on planet Earth is about God. That before you became a corrupt person, when you understood yourself, your purpose here on planet Earth, you were formed in your mother's womb, and you came out with a life that no man, no science can give to human beings. And your mom delivered you. You developed into your mom's womb. Herself didn't know how it all happened. There are some children, they bring uncomfortable situations to their mom while they are in their womb. The Bible says, Rebecca noticed something unusual in her womb. Because she is behind power embedded covenant child and she knew she noticed that her husband believes faith is in God that created everything. Rebecca didn't go and consulted any man. She utilized, she make use of what she has in her as a power 
and consulted God and God spoke to her. My dear, the passage proper. The scripture you saw, you had, for some people, it's so confusing because he talks about king, he talks about human, he talks about star, he talks about Lucifer. Just as I said the other day, that God uses metaphorical way to make his descriptions to reveal his mind to reveal his character to human beings in a different different way for us that knows by the help of the holy spirit this metaphorical subject or teaching or scripture that we have read is no pointing to a specific human being, but to Satan. Just as I said on Friday, there is no conflict. There is no battle. There is no war here in the physical without happening in the realms of the spirit or the unseen words. So, Isaiah was giving these revelations, just as I said, understand God in the ancient form, understand him in the Old Testament way, that is why Jesus was tempted several ways, several times, if he came to disregard the Old Testament. No. The other day, what he told them, yes, according to the law of Moses, it is A, B, and C. And what is the Torah speaking here about? You should not sin. You should not tell lie. You should not envy. You should not have malicious. You should not kill. So if you know that this accused person that is here, he came, you came, you said, he has, she has committed sin like this. If any of you that is here haven't committed any, you began the first stone. So, as a kingdom-minded person that believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the same God of yesterday is the same God of today and the same God forever. On this revision or recapped teachings is going to be embedded with all the main titles. You're going to hear about discipleship, prayers, and experience. So if you have your notebook began to write notes because the more we go revelations deeper ones we fall out we come out whatever has been shown on our spiritual readers we will reveal it to you i'm not carried away in the physical aspect because the one that is behind every conflict, every divisions, you cannot see him in the physical, but you can see his effectiveness. 
just as you can't see God, but you can see God through those that he has called, those that he has equipped, and those that he wants them to speak his words. And the effective, his mighty, his powers will be projected. For example, we saw God in the mouth of Moses. Moses didn't do anything without God telling him. We saw the repercussions. We saw the danger when Moses acted without God telling him. He began right away his downfall. So God's mighty directions the more the reasons we have the Holy Spirit here with us. Because the Bible says, we are His temple. I don't want you to see yourself that you can have the Holy Spirit and no temptation will come your way. No. Holy Spirit is in you. The physical is all about Satan. You didn't understand. What is in you is hiding from the outward. That is why man is always deceived by the outward appearance. Because the outward appearance of man was a judgment that God gave to Satan. He said, I created man out of dirt, dust, dust. He said, dust you shall eat all your life. So Jesus was covered with the flesh and Satan saw the outwardness. He confronted him. He tempted him. But he didn't know what was in Jesus. My 20 years now coming, I've done 19 and a half. In all my ups and downs, my crying time, my celebration times, my weeping, my hardship, you name it. Because when you are in the kingdom of God, there are times you ask yourself, what is wrong with me? It might see like darkness has overtake you. It might happen to you as if you have been abandoned by God or He has used you and dumped you. Because our brother, our Redeemer, our Savior made us to understand that times will come you will ask, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? He didn't know that he has the power in him, that God's might is so greater for him now. So when you reach to that point, you cry, you ask God, God, where are you? Where are you? Why things are happening to me? He is In the peak, in the highest, the highest place that your success, your deliverance has come to be exploded with all what you have gone through for him. So this passage that we have read I 
I ask God. I say, God, wars, tribulations, famine, hardships, injustice are happening. And people are even attributing to your sons. You say, Jesus says, my coming will be all this before I come. And some people will think. And some people will buy the idea of Satan. Did I tell you that God is wicked? He's biased. He doesn't care for people that he created. But if your eyes are now open to Isaiah 14 that we have read. In this passage, some people even attributed to Nebuchadnezzar. Some people attributed to the worst leader they have ever got. Now we know you as God's mouthpiece, God, kingdom, people. The Bible said, the three Hebrew boys, they said, even if our God didn't deliver us, we are not going to bow down to your God. And the Bible said, the prophet was kept in the lion's den because he failed to compromise. But he has the power he has the ability that he compromised not. So yes, we saw now the effectiveness of Satan in Nebuchadnezzar. It might be any leader here on earth. That is why it's very dangerous. No wonder Apostle Paul taught it fit. He got the revelations. He said we should pray for those that are in governance, that are in authority, the more the reasons. Because now we know the plans of Satan. He can open the prison and put somebody there. But he doesn't know how to free them. So, God cannot create a beautiful human being. And destroy them. Oh, you may ask, why God destroy Pharaohs? Because the Bible said, when another Pharaoh arose, that he knew not Joseph and his people. He chose to turn them, people that we are once celebrant, people that we are once respected, people that saved that land. He said, let us deal with these people secretly and turn them to slaves. Now revelation is coming. I ask God. Slavery is a reproach. It provokes God. For those of you that are celebrating into slavery mentality, no wonder we are always saying we have forgive Africa's ancestors that soul they are human beings for slavery. That's all we can do. The Bible says, God told Moses, I have seen the afflictions of my people and I have come down to rescue them. This is one of Satan's characters, Satan's manipulation, Satan's manifestations 
here on planet Earth. He entered into leaders. He entered into people and deceived them, manipulated them, and accused them before God. That's all he does, though. He said, God, have you seen Pharaoh? Have you seen his attribute? What he's doing to your people? Because the Bible called Satan the accuser of our brethren. As we move on on this power, you will know. So everything Satan does to you as a human being, he's going to report it to God. Because we saw that he has fallen. And when he failed, he came here on earth. And all his agenda, his wicked ideas, he has with him is for kingdom. That's why we have two types of kingdom here on planet Earth. We have the kingdom of God, the mighty and the greater, and we have the lesser kingdom, which is Satan. No wonder people that are holding Bible bigger than them. That's why I'm always saying this to people. Be careful for not all church, not all people that call themselves pastors that are genuine. They are fake and Satan in disguise. You can see. Satan can use human beings here because we see that he can use people. Now is you can see now his character, when you read verse 16, he said, everyone there will stare at you and ask, can this be the one who shook the earth and make the kingdom of the world tremble? He says, 6, 5, 17, Is this the one who destroyed the world and made it into a wasteland? Is this the king who demolished the world's greatest cities and had no mercy on his prisoners? My dear saints, my dear beloved, when Satan came here on earth, he is targeting not his own people, not his own follower. He is targeting those that have put their trust, their belief, their faith in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. You may ask yourself, my whole life up to this date, those that are fighting me are the ones that are carrying Bible bigger than their head. They are provoking God every day. Pastors, churches are fighting me more than even those that are in the camp of Satan. But because I know my power, because I know my resources, because I know my strength, because I have a confidence that my God was not my making. My oil was not my making. My geographical location was not my making. It's all about God. The more the reason I relax and watch God the Father God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, to give them sleepless night, to give them heart attack, 
to give them torment. Why relax and enjoy my fellowship with God? You may say, Paul, why are you going that way? When you have the power in you and you know your power and you make sure your power is being centered in the form of belief and faith to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. There is no battle that you cannot overcome. The Bible says, Satan, verse 15, he said, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. You may ask, when Jesus died, when Jesus said on the cross, My father, my father, why have you forsaken me? The father has empowered the Holy, because the Bible says the Holy Ghost that brought Jesus to life is the same Holy Ghost. Because Jesus, you have to die. You have to go to where Satan was cast down. And where he was, only a blameless, a spotless, That when God said it, that woman, your seed will bring confusion, destruction to Satan. So Jesus have to go to this place that Satan was cast and bring your redemptions, bring your salvations, brings your deliverance and brings your healing. So sometimes when you cry, when you ask God, why have I been so abandoned? You are not abandoned. You are not alone. He has disguised himself because the battle now you are is not known about you anymore. It's now between God and your accusers, your enemies. I don't know who this message is for today. We have a responsibility. We that are God's kingdom promoters to pray for leaders that are in governance. Because the effectiveness of Satan's his main point for him to spread all his agenda is to attack leadership. Because sometimes leaders are not attacked directly, but Satan use a shortcut. It might come through the advice. It might come through their ministers. It might come through their wives. It might come through their family members or the very people that they are leading. History told us Moses was corrupted because of those that he was leading. I don't know whose voice is speaking into your administration that has overtake your agenda, your belief, your strategies. They are most precedent. Their agenda has been swallowed up by Lucifer. You might say, Paul, how? When Jesus was having 
Judas in his administration. Jesus, we ask, they will offer Jesus. Judas will always bring a sugar coated, a sweet word. Oh, Jesus, you know, the ministry is big. We need more money. We need more of this. Some of these materials that they are lavishing on you, you sometimes it's good for us to sell it and we may have the money. Yes, he might spoke something that Jesus' ministry should projected, but because Jesus knew that what he has already started has already finished. What you have started that God has given to you. I want you to see that he already knows your capacity. Do not overload yourself. There are some of you. Your capacity is 5 kV. But you have put some load that should be carried by 35 kVs. No wonder you are collapsing every day. No wonder you have become anemic. You have no stamina anymore. All you want to do now is to fast all your life to twist the hand of God. You think the only way you want you can confuse or you can persuade God is to cover up in fasting. Do not get me wrong. Fasting is good. But if you are fasting for your selfish and greedy way, you're going to collapse. Some men and women of God have died because they have overloaded their kilowatt. If Jesus that have all the power, that has all the might, what is recorded? Only 500 that believe in him totally. Every ministry that God has given, has called into you, he know the time, he know the season, he know those that want them to hear. The more the reason I specific am grateful to technology. When God called me, He said, You are called as a missionary, you will go to places. I was so quick, I was so I said, God, let me go to this. I will go there. But he created this platform. Sometimes when I go through my statistics, my network, my social media statistics, and the, and the analysis, areas of coverage, that we are, we are projecting, we are making impact. I say, okay, God. I know I will be there in physical one day, but this is the method that you want me to reach. The more the reason I am not fighting, I am not killing myself. I do my own part, and he has the finalizations. Satan came. God says when people made human beings to become slaves for their own wicked and greedy ideas I will arise and fight 
and revenge and cause chaos and I will use the very power that empowered them, Satan, to destroy them. Because Satan is a killer, is a destroyer, and a stealer. God uses Satan at any time, any moment. But Satan came to you to make himself. Satan was cast out ever since. He's a fallen ever since. He's powerless ever since. But he is always going to pretend. The Bible says he will pretend like he's a lion. He roar when he's not a lion. He can make as if he is greater. He is not greater. So, why? Because verse 12 says, How art thou falling from heaven, O Lucifer? He has been falling. There are some of you. It's serving to you now as a confirmation. Satan can get hold of a president, a king. Whatever ideas he wants, whatever mythology. That's why I said all the confused, all the distractions that Satan is using now to bring hate, to bring divisions, and to report us to God. Most especially Jesus is to choose a particular sin and publicize it as if that sin is the only sin that God cannot stand. My dear saints, all sin of the flesh are all sin. Sexual immorality is a sin. Your marriage and you are cheating in your marriage is a sin. You are single and you are committing fornication is a sin. You are stealing, you are doing illegal things, witchcraft activities is a sin. And when you are caught, there is a consequence. You are doing drugs. You are a rob arm robber. You are committing a crime against the state. And when you are caught, there's a consequence. So every crime is a crime. Whatever is called a sin is a sin. And there's a way for you to get out of that sin and it's Jesus because he condemned no one and you he is called a man that his friends are sinners because he came for them but he never yoked equally with sinners I will talk to sinners. I will even help them. But I will not do the same act that they are doing. Because for them, I am called. For them, I am here as a missionary. For them, we are here today. If righteous people hear them, hear us, it's a plus to them. But it's all for sinners that they will be delivered from the hands of false pastors, wicked pastors, satanic churches, demonic pastors, that freedom, deliverance, will be bestowed on them and their life will never be the same. So many 
innocent children are now in captive by the ideologies of Satan polluting their minds as we round and end here for today. Prepare yourself for an altar call. The end of this message. Power of beliefs and faith. Number 42. I will see you soon. Stay tuned. surrendering your entire say God my hands are lifted up to you whatever ways that my life was carried I have surrendered to you today we've read your words and we had it that Satan is a fallen being. He has no power. Call your full name and say this was after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for your deliverance in my life. Thank you for your blood and thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for I have been set free, loose from the powers of Satan. In Jesus' name, amen. The Holy Ghost is taking control over you now. The general prayer. And the general prayer is for the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost to fall on you. That's all you need. When the disciples are asking Jesus, what is our pay? What is our reward? They say, you shall receive power. He said, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, Shandari Marama. So power is coming upon you today. For some of you today, it's your Pentecost. The authority being invested in me. By my Father Yahweh, 
in the mighty name of your son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sweet Holy Ghost is coming on you. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is coming on you. Receive the Holy Spirit, receive the Holy Fall on you, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost is for on you. Holy Spirit, fall on you. Sweet Holy Spirit, gentle spirit is falling upon you now. Today is your Pentecost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost now. Oh, Marabakos in Tiedahama. That is Him. He's a gentle spirit. Receive Him now. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Marabakos in Tiedahama. Shete Karahama Kosete Marama. Shete Karahama. O Ma Kore Hima Kasanta. O ma kere ba kosete marama. Ma karaba kosete kari ma kusanta rahama. Ma kosete ma karahama. There is a deliverance that is coming from a particular country. God have heard your cry. God had heard your reproach. God had heard your abandonment. The enslavery mentality, the imprisonment mentality, that nations, that the kingdom of Satan has labored them. Some people call them that they are witchcraft, they are voodoos, they are underworld, they are marine kingdom. As the Holy Spirit has just revealed to me, you country of Haiti, there is a Big cherubim, I've seen God has released. Haiti, hear me and hear me again. Haiti, or the Haitians, as God that see it, God that knows your afflictions, God has seen your suffering. God have seen the injustice. God have seen the wickedness of the tax masters. For too long, your cry, your weeping, there are ancestors that God made covenant. There is no country that is little in the sight of God. Haiti, the blood of Jesus, and the fire of the Holy Ghost is bringing deliverance. It just came in the spiritual reader. The Holy Spirit said, Deliverance has come for you. The covenant that the ancestors made to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, as they are men and women, Going on their nail, crying to God, God, are we not part of your creations? Are we not human beings? Why are we suffering like this? Is it because we are dark skin? It doesn't matter. God doesn't see color. God doesn't see identity. He sees you as your, his image. You are God's image. That land of Haiti. God has opened my eyes. Oh, Shantori Hima. There is a big, mighty cherubim that his wing has covered that island now. Deliverance has come. 
It doesn't matter how long you have suffered in the hands of the wicked ones. God has sent help. God has brought deliverance. You are one of God's own. That land, it doesn't matter how long. It doesn't matter. The Bible said the children of Israel were in bondage for 400 years. But there was a day that God came as Haiti, your days, your deliverance, your time has come. You Haitians, whatever suffering, whatever innocent lives, whatever devastations, whatever wicked spirit, just as we read that Satan came, he said, I will desolate, I will prison people that I don't open. God has spoken to me to declare deliverance to that land. I don't know how long you guys have suffered, but God has seen you and you are one of God's own. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, that spell, that witchcraft name, that voodoo name, just as we said, every nation that the kingdom of Satan's manifestation is very high, God has planned. Today, your deliverance has become Haiti, Haitians. Thus says the Lord, help has come in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. This session is being sealed and settled. My Father Yahweh, my brother Jesus, my senior partner, we say thank you. We love you. Amen. Amen. The end of today's message. Shalom. God bless you. Stay out of trouble. Trouble is not your name. Do you want to be a blessing to us? We say thank you in advance and God bless you. Bye-bye. 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 Amen.